very important to be here with you, Mr. President, and to be able to tell you what I've told publicly uh, to President Putin and to the uh, press uh, side by side with Minister Lavrov that uh, we have a war in Ukraine caused by a Russian invasion in violation of uh, the UN Charter and in violation of the territorial integrity of Ukraine. Uh, and I think it's very important that the UN says the same in New York, in Kiev, and in Moscow. And uh, you can be sure that we have not two faces or two languages. We tell the truth and we abide by the values that I consider uh, the values that are essential for peace and security in the world. On the other hand, Mr. President, I want to say how committed we are to support the Ukrainian people in this dramatic situation. We uh, were not expecting to have uh, a major humanitarian operation in Ukraine. Of course, we were involved uh, in the eastern part of Ukraine, but it was at a different level. Um, and so uh, we had to adapt. Um, I know that. Uh, uh, the Ukrainian government, Ukrainian people sometimes feel the weaknesses of the uh, UN response in some aspects, and I fully admit that uh, with full humility that we are not perfect, and uh, it took uh, some time to organize. Uh, uh, the World Food Program was no longer in the Ukraine. Now they have 250 people, they reached 2 million, 300,000 people, but it had to be done from scratch. Uh, but uh, uh, I want to tell you that it is our commitment, and one of the reasons of my visit, I met with all the head leads of agency before coming, and uh, we want to scale up meaningfully our action, but we are not operating in Ukraine as we operate in other parts of the world. Ukraine has a government, the government has programs, programs from uh, social protection to uh, food distribution uh, to uh, the action in the food markets, programs in relation to health, programs in relation to education. The role of the UN is not to replace the government, it is to support the government in its actions. 